All right. Well, uh, speaking of, yeah, like, I mean, right off the bat, this this one is, is about crazy people. Uh, <laughs> so this is from Tom'sHardware.com, and the article is, Intel's Sapphire Rapids has 500 bugs. Launch window moves further. Well, that's good that they're delaying the launch, but, uh, and I love their, their, Punny little subheadline here on Tom's <laughs> Hardware. Someone call pest control. <laughs> Five hundred bugs. I don't know. I just yeah, it. yeah. Intel is having a bad week, and and this is not the only negative headline out for for Intel right now. They got a couple of different things going on. Uh, if you haven't heard of it, which I don't blame you, the Sapphire Rapids processor. Uh, Intel has the worst code names. It's a horrible for that. Name. Yeah, because <laughs> how do you is that. Is that newer than was, Sand Lake was or Adolf Hitler not available? Yeah. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> even if you went with that, what would it be like? Tyrants through the yeah, ages. Yeah, it's it's just, okay, guess yeah. God. So, the of the Hunt. Yeah, I was really looking for you know baby Papa Doc. So, <laughs> so Sapphire Rapids is their next generation server processor, right? So this is if you're if you're building a data center with Intel processors, Sapphire Rapids is the one that's on the horizon. They were hoping to release it here in 2022. Not going to happen. They announced it's being delayed to 2023 due to a couple of bugs, right? So there was a... Uh, Coronavirus. Normally, <laughs> normally there'll be like two or three, they call them steppings, when they have to go in and change something in the processor and redo it. Uh, a, a stepping is a big deal, right? Because they'll, they'll manufacture dyes to create the processors. They then run them through testing. And if there's a problem, they can't just say, well, let's do a software patch. They have to like rebuild the dyes. And so uh, what Tom's Hardware was saying was that it costs about $10 million every time they have to change the steppings. Well, they found 500 different bugs and have now gone through 12 steppings so far. This might set a record uh, for Intel processors. They're really bad for them. They're having to push back to next year. That's not a good sign. At what point do they just throw their hands in the air and say, so, uh, you know, Ruby Pond. Yeah, we're skipping past <laughs> yeah. the old yeah. Sapphire Red. Well, yeah. So they can't do that. Really? And, and if you if you remember why, or if you remember just a little bit about Intel, Intel was really laying an egg just a year ago. Yeah. Uh, AMD was eating their lunch in pretty much every market. Kid, and it was looking really bad. They brought back their old CEO to try and get some of their swagger back. Uh, they gave up on their five nanometer. That's uh, right. Foundry, right? Yeah, they just uh, couldn't make it happen. They couldn't, and so they gave up. They said, "Well, we'll <laughs> use TSMC or somebody like that, right?" So you can't give up too many times before you just shut down the business, right? Speaking of which, <laughs> they, they are shutting some things down. You know, they they sold off their Optane storage division a while back, but they've been holding on to Optane RAM. Uh, they have now taken the steps to close down Optane RAM. So all of their Optane product line has been shut down. So that was uh, just a big laid an egg. You know, it was really great technology. Yeah. Super fast, super reliable, super expensive, like everything Intel likes. <laughs> it just didn't catch on. Oh, yeah. that will be a problem. I mean, you can have the coolest thing on earth if it doesn't, you know, make people want to buy it. Yeah. Well, then there's that. You know, we see that over the years. Do you, do you guys remember Rambus Ram? Yeah. yeah they, so, yeah, I mean, I remember it. I don't remember anything about it. Most people are like you. They remember that it existed, but they never had it. And yeah. it was because, like, with modern SD RAM and, and DDR or whatever, the standard itself is free like a anybody could manufacture sd ram anybody can manufacture ddr4 and you don't have to pay like licensing fees but with rambus ram they came up with a new design that was faster and better but they said no you gotta you gotta pay us to use it so if you want to make a motherboard that accepts rambus ram you got to pay a licensing fee for it wow. and so it it was offered in some workstations but didn't really catch on and even though it was better than what we had, it died. Yeah. And and that's kind of how Optane is. Yeah, and my guess is, you know, they, they probably build in in their budget for three or four of these steppings. So if we're at 12, we're already saying, all right, we got to sell more of these than we thought we did to, <laughs> to turn a profit. But I'm looking at it from the side of a customer going, if I am if if I saw a story about a car and they were like, yeah, that new Chevy, yeah, it used to blow up in, in testing a lot, but uh, they said they fix it all now, so you want to buy the new Chevy? Remember those people that killed? I'm, yeah, I'm not, <laughs> well, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Let, me, let me put a different spin on it. Uh, so, Peter, would you rather buy this Chevy where we fixed 500 problems or this other Chevy where we didn't fix 500 problems? <laughs> I Boy, know. that's it, a, that's it, a real no-win situation. Yeah, it's simpler, yeah, because yeah. it's never had 500 problems. Yeah. I don't know. It just sounds like, uh, like remember 500 that problems is the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Remember that cursed <laughs> Broadway show, like that Spider-Man show, where yeah. like people were falling from the rafters, and like you just go, oh, let's just walk away. Yeah, it's, we'll mean, start a new, is, a new they, show. They finally did that, right? I Didn't they? They, they, they yeah. abandoned yeah. it. Like, this is done. That's people what needs people to died. Didn't they? Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> Multiple Spider Men. Yeah. I believe. Dude. So, would you like to be Spider Man on Broadway? I, I do not have a suicidal. Yeah. Thought yeah. This in my spot head. just opened up. Yeah, I bet it did. After you cleaned what about, that what about spot the understudy? off the ground. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm, I'm going to take a pass on that. I'm waiting for the sequel to uh, Mac and Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really. So the wheelchair to that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, who was it? Uh, Paul Rudd. That yeah. Every time we go on Conan, would show that. That's fantastic. Uh, all right, yeah. So bad, <laughs> a bad time to be Intel. Um, Get it together, guys. A good time to have, you know, Apple uh, Silicon or or AMD in your machine right now. Yeah, you know, for the for the regular rank and file consumer, this one probably doesn't matter. For data centers, something like this will actually have effect, really ramifications like two or three years from now. Okay. So it's it's hard for Intel to recover from it. And it's just a shame to see it because they they were getting better. Yeah. And this is a bit of a setback, and and we'll see how they end up on it. Uh, maybe maybe they'll end up with a, a processor that's more secure than we ever could have hoped, and it becomes the next standard. So you, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they say you can't uh, make an omelet without breaking at least 500 eggs. Yeah, well, right. there, there you it's go. It's it's make it. a four-egg omelet. <laughs> $10 million <laughs> omelet. <laughs> omelet. Yeah. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.